After running four running plays, it was the fifth play, the first pass of the night, that got the uh, Tigers their points. 55 yards from Brandon Harris to Malachi Dupree. It's supposed to be a light rain now, basically for the rest of the night. And Brandon Harris to throw. And throw deep. In and out of the hands of Dupree, who caught the 55-yard touchdown. Coming. <laughs> and here it is right down here. You're going to see the post route. Very similar on the opposite side. Max protect. Just can't quite come up with a play. A little off. So Western Kentucky. And on third down, the pass comes near side. The Traven direct. Down here. You're going to see the poise take him, take a look. Little dig route coming back inside to Duval. And a touchdown for Brandon Harris in this game. Throws it again here. Far side. Backs. From the 41. Harris to throw again. Near side and in and out of the hands of Trayvon Doral, and then he's wrapped and not Climbing in the limelight this year, we always think it's a quarterback, but a lot of tailbacks really doing well. Harris pulls it back with three on third down conversions tonight. Harris with another long one down the field, looking in the direction of Tyron Johnson. But he's it's LSU, just a little bit of wrinkle. You got two backers blitzing in here. They get freed up. We'll try that again. <laughs> that was a weather map. We're doing we're doing weather actually up here. I've been waiting for something. Right next to the Hawkins. right next to the clear screen pass out. Oh. Balls out. Thrown to Darius Geis, one of the fabulous freshman running backs for LSU. Falls incomplete. It'll bring up third down and forever. Got to be Harris. smart right here. I don't think you're going to see much happen. And this is where they've talked about managing the game for Brandon Harris and not throwing interceptions. There you go. That's where I was going with that. Uh, Hawk was, was saying, you know, he took the sack there, but he didn't just try and throw one up. Yep. Yep. And that's really about all he could do at that point. So they need to get to the 25-yard line. Tries to squeeze one in. And Meta, the Tigers do. Running a seam route up here on the right-hand side. Actually a pretty good throw, but boy, he's throwing that thing right into coverage. I mean, that's one of those as a coach you're saying, if you get away with it, you're right. If you don't, you're wrong. And Offense, 175 for Western Kentucky, 137 for LSU. 55 of those accounted for on the Tiger touchdown pass early in the game. Here's Harris rolling in his own end zone. Throws and caught. And with yards after the catch, Trayvon Doral, can he go? Run down from behind and dropped at the 25-yard line by Prince Charles Awara, but Trayvon Doral with another big reception and run. Little bootleg coming out of the end zone. Sets up nicely. Gets away from the crowd inside. Throws on the run. That's a great throw. I'll bet he was not expecting Prince Charles to run him down here, though. Good job back inside. Yeah, Aurora, Nicole, the defensive coordinator for Western Kentucky, says Aurora is the fastest guy. Hands together right there. That's anatomically the way you're made. Harris throws, looking in the corner of the end zone. And a flag will come out. And a defender goes into the grandstand. <laughs> Nick's not sure. Here's the issue. Anytime you have your head inside like that, that's it's a, might be a little bit too. Anytime you turn your head towards the, the receiver, it just makes it so easy for the official. Receivers, and they're normally an eye back team, so they may want to spread it around a little. Fournette will get the pass attempt out of the back. Here we go again, one back formation. Throw comes near side to a wide open Trayvon Doral. He's down to the 30 yard line before he's run out of bounds. This is the kind of pitch and catch you want your quarterback to make. Come out in a bunch formation over here on the right hand side. Trayvon Doral ends up running the out route over here. Nice smooth rhythm throw. Right on the money, catch and run. That's pretty sweet. And a 28-yard gain, so the Tigers in business now.
Harris moves and throws. Tipped down and caught. As Fournette comes to the sidelines. And Harris throws to the fullback. So third down and eight. They need the nine-yard line. Pressure picked up. Into the end zone and over the top. 32-yard line. And Harris with time. Throws to the outside. To so third down. They need the 22. Harris looking for a lot more than that. Over the head of Trayvon Doral in the corner of the end zone. You know, he said he was going to talk to the officials a little bit and just trying to make sure that he's all for tackling him. But Harris took a licking. Flag is down. And a catch down by the goal line by Malik. Will get called for the targeting foul. Watch this. Five-yard line. Harris to Fournette. And he's hit four of ten on the third down conversions tonight for the Tigers. Third and 15, not a fun down. Downfield, deep, and it's caught. Tyron Johnson's going to go into the end zone. Well, you did it in November. That's when the big boys come out to play. That's when it's earned. Williams throws into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Trayvon Doral. Brandon Harris with his third touchdown throw of the night. Really nice post route. Kind of looking over a good rhythm throw. Leads him out there and again.